Today morning we've heard two earlier lectures and uh, environment was touched upon both times in different contexts. And today we've, we've seen in a third context uh, what's happening to the environment on planet Earth and doesn't take too much of imagination to come to the conclusion that it can translate into stress whether we look at it on the road or pollution. And uh, so, what will be the future like? I would request the audience to consider the following. The human population has quadrupled in the previous century. And when that happens, obviously, we have to increase our production for food. So the food requirements have begun to lead to bad land use practices, whether it is fertilizers or whether it is chemicals which you add to the soil and change the pH balance. Then industrialization, which is rampant and growing and galloping, is polluting our water bodies, subsoil water. We've already seen that happening, the effluents which are going in. And uh, interestingly, what's happening is that increasing purchasing power in our geography, and I'm taking China and India together, the purchasing power is going to increase and therefore consumerism will come in. Uh, energy sources which are being utilized are non-renewable. It is a documented fact that the per capita consumption of energy by America is extremely high to sustain their lifestyle. Now, if you take a scenario where India and China, given the size of the population, given the fact that IT is moving here, the economic center of the earth, of the globe, uh, the world economy is shifting eastwards. Presently, it resides in Europe. Shortly, when both India and China really attain the developed status, there will be so much of money here. There are going to be so many consumers here. And all of us who've got one car will need three cars. Those who have two wheelers will want a car, nano or no nano, even otherwise. We'll all want dishwashers. We will all want refrigerators. And all of this runs on energy, which is difficult to find. So we are headed for some very serious introspection. Of course, nuclear power is there, but that may not be the answer because of the hazardous toxic waste. The consumerist culture is taking root, as you know, well know. All the products which we are getting are not green. And what is happening is that in the West, the cost of produce is high because very tight environmental regulation is there in the West. So a lot of polluting industries are moving eastwards into where we are because of our lax environment protection laws. So there is a problem here. So urban employment opportunities are growing, which will give uh, better disposable incomes, which will cause more purchase of consumer items, which will utilize more energy, which will again result in more pollution. So the fact is that we all breathe the same air and pollution really travels freely across borders. It is no respecter of borders. So you have fires burning in Indonesia, you have people falling sick in Malaysia, you know, that's how it is. It's an integrated whole today. The environment of planet Earth is the common concern of each of us because we all stand to lose equally. Our choices, therefore, quite like our resources, are very limited indeed. We need to protect the environment of planet Earth for our children and, of course, the children of their children should they last. And if we fail, the Earth's non-renewable energy sources will rapidly deplete to sustain the affluent lifestyles of a few. And all of us will need to find another home. Space research today is having funding problems. Government funding is drying up. And uh, privatization has begun, even in space. Space flight technology will become only privately owned. 
starting with Richard Branson, it's already beginning to happen. And if that happens, and our lifestyle remains non-sustainable, and we get rid of all our resources, then we will need to buy our seat at an unaffordable price on a privately owned spacecraft to go and live on some other planet. And then, will we then relocate, carrying our small minds in our big spacecraft, and once we reach where we have to reach, will we reinvent gunpowder and non-sustainable development to start the cycle again? That's the question. We will need to look beyond state or national interests, develop a global approach, and be reborn as world citizens. Thank you very much. Ladies.